I usually, uh, with layering kicks, I like to put a snare and then use my kick drum. Skid can give it a little bit more punch. There we go, see? Okay, to get your answers, pulsating sequence skills, all right? And it's very simple as well. We're gonna use, you can guess again, da, 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 operator. Um, <laughs> I love to use the MDD snake. You can get this one for free. It's great. And once again, ta, 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 we use sine waves. And I'll put this in 16th mode. Add a little bit of velocity. I can show you some cool tricks though, which we'll get to uh, in a second. Just check one thing first. Yes, building sequences is exactly what I was going to go to next. All right, so. Um, Put it in some scale. I like these these ones here. Very good. These are very melodic, yeah. So there's a way to turn the sequencer, sorry, this uh, synthesizer into a more atonal synth, which is really cool because it's the only one in Ableton that has that feature. So obviously now we have this classic, you know, loopy Arthur Robert, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's very nice. Uh, I like to use also the gated delay, it's fantastic. Add some LFOs here, let's see why. And crucial to this whole procedure, right? First off. Polyrhythmic means the timing, I set the timing to nine, nine steps. It's called 916. So, um, yeah, repeating uneven patterns it will contrast with the rest. And especially now due to our uh, modulation of one of the node parameters, which is also in heavily uh, modulated fashion, I use LFOs which are synchronized. Synchron I, I modulate parameters of one LFO with the other LFO, for example. So I use this one to modulate the phase parameter here and the other one to modulate the depth parameter. We create these intermodulated things. Then I like, uh, and then I use the uh, note, uh, sorry, one of the other parameters, uh, such as note here, and then you get um, synchronized 
movements of that button. And that creates obviously a pattern. So this is like a sequencer. This becomes like a sequencer. Yes. And then we get these. It's extremely complex sequences. We're just using nine steps due to this modulation of these here, which is synchronized, but it is the timing is extremely hard for like for us to grasp, but yet we still feel that there is repetition in there, or at least I I still feel the repetition in there, and that's very important. So we have, we have this edge between repetitiveness and things that are difficult to anticipate. And that is a secret, everyone. Now we can use the modulation. sounding pretty good already so to create a little bit of space but let's capture on have some searching compression just a bit so there might be some lower notes that would clash with kick drum we don't want that otherwise we get some mud other than that Fairly. Okay, but this is now this all well, like all good and nice, but I want it a little bit freakier. Okay, in order to do this a little freakier, we're going to do this here. Okay, so we're going to set both of these to fixed frequency. Obviously now fixed frequency disables uh, sequencing. Huh? So those will not follow any notes anymore because we're in free free frequency mode. Yeah, you have to you would have to do it manually. So we'd have to draw an automation. So we don't want that either. We have another feature inside here, which is this here. You can tell key to be connected. So key, such as here, notes, fixed frequency. We can determine the amount of that. I like this movement. So obviously, what are we going to do? Yes. 